Mountain Classic tonight, four t boys teams compete for a chance to play in the Saturday semifinals. Finals, actually. Finals tomorrow <laughs> night. Semifinals are tonight, and fans are already starting to file in for the first game. WIP Sean Barry is live at the John C. Holmes Arena with a preview of tonight's action. Sean? Stephen Morgan, if you're a basketball fan, you want to be here at the John C. Combs Arena. Four teams are trying to get to tomorrow's boys' finals, but of course only two are going to make it. I talked to tournament officials who said that this was the kind of excitement they were hoping for out of this year's Mountain Classic. As the boys' semifinals prepare to tip off, it's safe to say this year's Mountain Classic at Perry Central High School hasn't disappointed. Athletic director of the host school, Randy Napier, says he couldn't have wished for a better lead up to this weekend's games. Uh, naturally, had some uh, uh, some buzzer beaters already, some some interesting games, good matchups, and uh, which leads us up uh, to this weekend, the grand finale, with the semifinals and the finals coming up. So it should be an interesting couple of days. Two perennial Mountain Classic powerhouses, not in Clay County's, face off in the first game of the boys' semifinals. It's the second semifinal game that has almost everyone else buzzing, though. That's just what happens when neighbors play. When it comes to Perry County with Perry Central and Buckhorn, same school system, kids grown up together and know each other, and, uh, you know, we're real close uh, proximity, and it, uh, I'm sure it will be interesting, to say the least. So get ready for the boys' Mountain Classic semifinals, because tonight it's going to be lights, camera, action. Now, those two games between Knott and Clay and Buckhorn and Perry. Now, Buckhorn and Perry, that's the talk of the town, but don't forget about that first game. Both Knott and Clay counties, they've won this thing before. At the Mountain Classic, for WYMT Mountain News, I'm Sean Barry. All right, Sean, thank you very much.